stingrays coming to the Kansas City Zoo. Yeah, they're part of a new touch tank exhibit that's opening very soon. Joel Nichols is there about to feed the zoo's newest tenants. Joel, I, look at that. You're ready. <laughs> Sleeve rolled up, everything. We're ready to do it. By the way, uh, the sharks will be in here as well when this, this exhibit opens May 18th. And coming up a little later uh, on a later newscast, we'll introduce you to those sharks. Sean is back, and I'm going to hold my hand down here with this little old capelin fish in it. We've done a little chumming for you, Joel, so hopefully come here, buddy. one of them will come over and visit while we still have the shot. And, of course, right when you stick your hand in, everybody goes away. Well, but, teach us about stingrays while we're waiting. Or do they really sting, for example? Well, I think this is the biggest misnomer. You look at their tail, Joel, and you think, just like a bee, that a stinger would be at the very end. But with stingrays, they do have a venomous spine, but it's at the very base of their tail. And just so everybody is, is calm when they get here, know that we have clipped those stingers off. Uh, it doesn't hurt them at all. And so when people come in here, there's no chance of them getting stung by one of the stingrays. So the smaller, uh, are, now the kind right here that are coming up, this big old school. Here, buddy. They are looking for you, Joel. Look at that. You want this? Look at this. Want that? Look, I got a fish for you. Right there. And you have to put them under because their mouth is actually under. Where Maybe it's at. the light, Joel. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It could be my cologne. <laughs> <laughs> they may not like that. Interesting that you should say that. When we, when we have people come here, we will have sinks that people can wash their hands off so we don't have an overabundance of uh, soaps and colognes and perfumes that get in the water. You know, if it was just one person sticking their hand in, it really wouldn't be too big of a deal and our filtration would get that out. But the reality is when you have 5,000 people sticking their hands in, that can add up. So, oh, there you go. Yeah, you did it. Now you are successful. You can go home knowing that you are the first outsider of a really? non-zoo employee to have fed the race. So well, congratulations. I feel honored. Thank you for being so cooperative. That was great. <laughs> I'm all wet. I'm gonna shake your hand uh, my, my hand's wet too, so I we're know. good. Uh, this is going to be a great place to bring the family. May 18th, you're going to have sharks and stingrays here. You get to touch them. You get to learn about them. You get to find out how they, uh, what they do for our world, which is pretty important stuff. So I knew I shouldn't have worn my Ode de Piranha cologne today, but they came <laughs> up to me just the same. I was about to say, if you want to feed the stingrays at the zoo, don't take Joel with you because right. they just scatter whatever he works. Yeah. I fed one. You got good it. Good job, Joel. Thanks, Joel. Ha, <laughs> ha,